Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about date and time functions in tax. There are 23 date and time functions. Okay, so in this session I will go through all the functions. After watching this video, please go through my blogs and if you have any doubt how you can create all the functions, it will be clear because I have provided all the steps for how we can create all the functions. Okay, so let's start with our Power BI desktop. So first I have imported this US Superstore data for this case study. So I will start with first calendar and calendar auto function. We know that these two functions will use to create a date table. But there is some difference. Calendar function, we need start date and end date. And calendar auto function, we don't need anything. So when we we'll use this calendar auto function, the table will be generated based on the date value which are already provided in our this uh, US Superstore data. That means it is based on our existing data model table. Okay, so first we will start with the calendar function. Okay, so this is a date table I have created using the calendar function. Now calendar function when I am using that by default only one date column will be created. Now for different requirement we need some more columns. So what I have done in this calendar function you can observe this is the start date and this is the end date. So I have used these two variables start year and end year just because like table will be populated more dynamically. Okay. And here I am adding some more columns using this add columns formula. First year. Here I am using this year function where we need only one parameter that is date column. Similarly for quarter name for this quarter function also we need only one argument this is date. But quarter name I am creating like this Q then it will be quarter 1 Q, Q, Q quarter 2 in this way. Similar way this is a quarter number because by default it will re return only the integer value 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 quarters. Okay. Now this is a month name where I have used one format function and from the date column using this 3mm format I am getting the month name. Then I am using the month uh, function. This is another date time function where also we need the argument date function. This is a week name. Here we need also week number and argument is date. Okay. So I am formatting this week name in this way. Then uh, it's coming to the week number. It's sim a simple week number getting the date as an argument. Similarly day name. Here I am using the format function. The format function is not the date and time function. But to format the table in a proper way, I am using this and creating all the um, column. Okay. Day number where I am using the weekday that is also get, uh, taking the argument date. Here weekday means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 7 days. Okay. So I have created one report based on this uh, date uh, table. Here you can observe year, quarter name, quarter number, month name, month number, week name, week number, day name and day number. So everything is populated. Now let me show you one calendar auto function based on that how I have created the date table. So here I am not using uh, all the form formulas. I am just uh, using the calendar auto function and based on that this date table has been created. So if you want to observe that how many uh, years are there, so you can observe it has a record for 2014 to 2018 because in my Superstore data we have only a record for this all these years. Okay, so calendar auto function has been generated based on this value only. Here the date hierarchy will be created automatically. So we have covered eight functions. Okay, uh, in our date table, we have observed weekday and week number. Okay, two columns. But there are some argument which can be passed through this weekday and week number. Let me show you. 
First is week number. I have uh, passed this week number one. But if you can observe, here I can provide one. That means week begins on Sunday. And if I go to two, that means week begins on Monday. So by default, if you are not mentioning anything, by default it will take one as a value. Okay. Let me show you the same thing for weekday. Weekday has also different type of parameter where one means Sunday 1 through the Saturday 7 that means Sunday Monday uh, like this 1 2 3 7 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay now if I pass 2 then Monday will be the 1 and then Sunday will be the 7 if I 3 then Monday will be 0 and Sunday will be 6 so if you are not passing any value by default it will take 1 okay so in this way you can get yeah, you can get uh, the data so i have covered weekday and week number now we are mo moving to the next step now we are going to know about today day diff date value and day function today the name is uh, already explained that today it will provide the current date okay uh, let me show you how you can declare that function. It's simple. Just uh, declare today. That's it. Now it's coming to the date diff. Date diff means uh, difference between the two date. Okay. How we can calculate that? Let me show you first this use of date difference in terms of day. Here you can observe. I have used date difference function and there we have to provide two dates. First I have selected order date. Then I am using this two day function. So whatever I have created just before this. I am just I'm using that column only. That is use of today. Now we can observe. I have mentioned day as a return type. Okay that means it will provide number of days between these two dates. Okay but if you want to return in different year month. You can also do that. How will you do that? Let me show you. So this is in terms of day, it will it can be written hour, minute, month, quarter, second, week and year. So in any format, you can return your data. So for that purpose, I have created two uh, functions here. One for the day, okay, and another for the year, okay. Now I have created uh, one simple report, order date this uh, two day function and this year and this date difference. So year can be already explicitly visible that uh, it is difference between 2017 to 2021. Okay. So now it's a year gap four. Now what is this date value function? Date value function, it will take the date value in terms of in text format and it will convert to your proper date which has a date time format okay so here you can observe i'm just giving as a text format this is a text format 31st december and when i'm passing this it is uh, getting the result 31st december 2021 because i haven't mentioned any year so by default it is taking the current year okay so in this way you can convert the text value to the date and time format now we are coming to the day function so this is a use of day function it will provide the number of days of a particular um, uh, date. That means it will data will be from 1 to 31. Okay. So now we are going to know about now function, hour, minute, second, time and time value. First is now. Now is similar to the, this, this uh, two day function but only difference is if I am going to use this now function, I will get the current timestamp. That means it is not only the date, it will provide me the current timestamp. Okay. So you can observe the current timestamp. Let me show you how we can declare this function. So in this way, you can declare this now function. It's simple. Just now you need to declare now. We have seen uh, some date function, but, but this time we are going to uh, um, observe how this time function okay so first we'll start with this hour field okay 
is using our is nothing but you just need to use our and within the bracket i am using this use of now because my now uh, value has a time current time step so it will provide me the uh, the record data so i have used this use now and if i use this our function it will provide me this 13 13 hour similar way minute simple minute and i'm using this and it will provide me the one minute second you can observe the same in the similar way you can declare the second and it will provide you the second 39 second so in this way you can extract uh, the time variable um, data from your um, value now we have something time function and time value function now what is this time function now in the time function if you provide some argument in integer form it will generate the result in terms of time that means here 2 will consider as our minute and 30 second so if i uh, run this uh, formula then it will generate this 2 hours 20 minutes and 30 second but here date is something like that because i haven't declared any date so by default it will consider the power bi default date for date okay in the similar way you can remember the date value it's converting the text uh, text format to the date for time format similar way this time value is if i am going to use some time uh, in text format it will convert to the time in date time format okay so it will convert in this way 22 30 minutes and 30 second okay. now what is e date e date it will consider two arguments one is the start date and number of months okay so here i'm considering order date and two that means it will provide me the ex date which is after two months okay so here third january 2014 so it will it is providing third march 2014 so this is the only purpose now similar way e month e o month what is this e o month so this is the e o month formula this formula if i am going to pass one date column and if i am going to pass one that means it will add today is our we are in month of june and it will go to plus one that means the next month july and it will provide the last date of the uh, next month or whatever the month number of months you are going to declare if you are going to declare two then it will provide you the august last date of the august okay let me show you that if i am going to to 2 it is provide me the 31st august date okay so we have covered this two function now i am going to show you this utc function so what is this utc function it will provide you the universal time okay so now is providing the proper time uh, right now whatever the current timestamp for universal time that is providing similar way so this utc today providing the current date okay for utc time zone and the last function is year fraction year fraction it's uh, taking the three argument one is the start date and the end date so i'm considering start date as an order date and end date is today and it will pass the some more variable okay so first is zero basically it is calculating the year fraction between these two dates so one is for this zero way okay in this way calculation this is the actual versus uh, divided by actual this is actual by 360 actual by 365 and european 30 by 360 okay so it has a different different meaning if you want you can go through the microsoft documentation in my blog i have provided that documentation link you can go through all in details but normally i am using this actual versus actual so uh, here i am going to show you how this one uh, if i am going to use the one as a parameter so uh, how it is coming okay so here you can observe this order date is a uh, 2017 and today 2021 and use of year function uh, fraction function it is giving me the 3.44 so uh, you can observe here it's giving the year fraction because it's not the completed 
four years okay so it's giving me the two date between this two date what is a year fraction in terms of 3.44 okay so uh, we have covered all the 23 functions i hope uh, it will help you for your uh, different projects and if you have any doubt just go through my blogs you will get all the steps and keep the blogs ready so that for any requirement you can refer my blogs you can refer my video and you can use the functions formula okay so i hope you like this video thank you thanks for watching